Well, the U.S. and Iran have stepped back from the possible brink of war. Earlier today, President Trump says that we would not retaliate for Iran's missile strike on two Iraqi bases housing U.S. troops, but planning to hit the country with new economic sanctions. No one was hurt in last night's strikes, which Iran says were in response to a U.S. drone strike that killed one of its top generals. And more than 6,000 troops from Fort Bragg were deployed to Iraq in the last few days. Some of them had little warning to say goodbye to their loved ones. Our reporter Aaron Edwards continues our coverage in Fayetteville tonight. Aaron. In the past five days, 6,500 troops were sent to the Middle East from North Carolina. 4,200 of those soldiers were from right here at Fort Bragg. Now the community here is rallying around those whose loved ones were deployed. At first, I was upset and sad for them, but then I realized they are trained to do a job. They are trained to defend, and I say let them do their job. Carmen Albertson is a military wife. Her husband came back from a deployment in September. With thousands of North Carolina troops being deployed, she knows he could be next. If he were to be deployed, um, it, would be, it would be something that I expect because he is um, he's in the Army. That's what he does. 4,200 soldiers from Fort Bragg have already been deployed to the Middle East. 2,500 Marines from Camp Lejeune were also redeployed to the Middle East today. Those Marines ended their planned exercise with the Moroccan military to be redirected to the Mediterranean Sea. I'm praying for them and um, about all we can do is show America's strength. Those in the military base community of Fayetteville are showing solidarity. I was in the military, yes. I served in the Army. If it wasn't an age limitation, I would sign up again. And showing support for those who watch their loved ones leave for the Middle East. They're in my prayers. I pray I don't know them, but I know them, you know, uh, because they're, they're, they're a part of me, because I still serve with them in my heart. I pray for the safety of all the fellows and all the young people that we have there and pray that the Lord brings them home soon. Reporting in Fayetteville, Aaron Edwards, Channel 9 Eyewitness News at 10. Now those in the military are trained to deploy anywhere within just 18 hours notice. The conflict in Iran is playing out in front of younger Americans in 30 minutes. The questions that some of them um, are asking of local leaders and these are kids who might want to serve their country one day.